and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sora Darchild, and welcome back to Let's and welcome to Let's Replay The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. Yep, we're awake. It's been a while since I played this game. I originally played it on the Wii U version. For this Let's Play, I'm doing the Switch version, which is pretty much just going to be the same game, just different system. I have vague memory of this game. And unless you want to have the nostalgia that I might be having for playing every Zelda game in the series, it's not recommended, but it is more fun to go through the nostalgia if you do play all the games before this one. Why I'm doing this instead of A Link to the Past? Who knows? Anyway, let's get on with it. That is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. I'll take your word for it, Princess. Sheikah Slate. A mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, but yet, there's something familiar about it. Congratulations, Link now has an iPhone. And it's optional that we can go through the game without any clothes on, but I recommend that you don't do that. Kinda embarrassing. be getting better clothes very soon as I remember the beginning very well hold the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal that will show you the way Authenticating. Sheikah Slate confirmed. Link, you are the light. Our light. That must shine upon high rule once again. Now go. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, I remember he had a jump ability in this game. I don't think he's had that ability since Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. And the sprint running and climbing, that's from Skyward Sword. Oh, this scene never gets old. And that's reminiscent of the very first Zelda game. Welcome to Breath of the Wild. Oh, the music is so good in this game. Is that you, old man? Are you gonna give me a wooden sword? Let's see. Oh, I can use a stick as a weapon. I'm sure I can find a better weapon, too. <laughs> oh, well met, stranger. It's rather unusual to see another soul in these parts. Mm -hmm. Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man, and like you, to this place? Where are we? Answering a question with a question? That's fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting be... To be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace to the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Oh. That temple there. Long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. I shall be here for some time. Please, let me know if I may be of service. Uh, sure. Why not? I'm gonna borrow this axe. And we'll wonder... Actually, let's go for a swim. Dive! Dive! <laughs> you found me. Huh? You're not Hatsu. But you can see me? I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. <laughs> well, if you run into Hatsu, please return this to him. Korok seeds. Collect enough of those and you can uh, build up your inventory. Useful. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. Noted. Now then. I'll be making a mental note to come back here momentarily. Because I think I need a bow. 
archery bow. Look out for them, but actually, we'll see if this is strong enough against a bow goblin. Link. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. Oh fudge, it broke. But I took his club! How do you like that? Now. The spot that the Sheikah Slate wants us to go is right over there. This point right here. Is that will fill out a map for us. Bullseye. Too bad that doesn't spawn a Korok for us. Oh well. I need a shield. Oh yeah, be be on the uh, keep an eye on your stamina. If it runs out and you have to end up uh, moving slowly, it'll make you an open target for your enemy. Wouldn't hurt to have a torch. Yes! Bow and arrows. Good. I'm gonna be needing those. Can't get him at this angle. Actually, I can, but not a headshot. Don't waste arrows. There'll be more. I can hunt for that later. Or I can hunt for it now. I probably warned it. Patience, Link. Darn it, I didn't get him in the head. Kill that thing and you get an ingredient for something we have to cook. Come here, piggy. Bullseye! Now I can activate that uh, place that they want us to go. know where those guys are gonna be hiding except for the ones that I have on memory and my memory on where those guys are are very very vague however the shrines on the other hand like that one there I still remember where most of those are and I need a select number to Get a certain number of hearts we need for a certain item much later in the game. Now
Bullseye. Give me a good enough chance and I sometimes will never miss. Thankfully because of motion control. You missed. Thanks for the arrows. I'm gonna be needing those. Now, there's the place I need to activate. Place the shaker slate on the pedestal. Shaker tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. Distilling local whole information. And we filled out the map for the Great Plateau. No pressure or anything. It's too late.
by and by, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it just erupted across the land, one after the other. It's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were up top that tower? Uh, I still don't trust you, so I'm going to remain silent. Oh. You need not conceal the truth from me. Truth be told, I saw the whole thing unfold from afar. Although I could not hear anything, I did see you react as if you heard something coming from the direction of the castle. Hmm. Hit that a nail on the head, did I? And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? Hmm. Hmm. It seems I have some work to do as far as earning your trust goes. I suppose that is understandable. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity uh, in shrouding the castle? That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Irul to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, he, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Hmm. I must ask you, Creatious One, do you intend to make your way to the castle? <laughs> you need not say a word. Your eyes reveal the determination within. Here, on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Oh. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite the... another story. Paraglider? Oh, piqued your interest, have I? Yes, I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Hmm. Worry not, I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Hmm. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Come, let me show you something. He's going to talk about those shrines that you're going to be, uh, that we have to do. The first four are right here on the plateau, so you can't miss them. Hmm. Do you see that structure there? That one shining in the strange light? It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. <laughs> I would think such a place might hold some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider, for a fair exchange, I believe. Yeah, that's fair. And I know just which one of the four I want to take on first. First things first, let's go get that last ingredient I need for the cooking, and then uh, we'll go meet with him at his hut. 
his cottage. Hopefully I get in there before he hits the hay. The lake is where we need to go, and it's the one next to the uh, Temple of Time. Now then, let's go head for the uh, place. Actually, that was the second to last ingredient. The last, in the real last ing ingredient is up there near the gate. Best shake a leg, Link. And try not to run out of stamina as best we can. No. That's the shrine we need to go first. That I am planning to go first. I probably should have done that with the others. There we go, all four are marked. And I'll go in the order that I marked them. So it'll be red, blue, yellow, and green. Cooking should be simple enough. I just need to hold on to each ingredient. Cook it in the pot and... <laughs> there we go. Timber! Sorry, old man. I'll meet him back in his cottage. Whoops. Oh well, I think I got enough wood anyway. Get some flint, I can make myself a campfire whenever I need to. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, fancy that, so we meet again. 
this body of mine isn't what it used to be. Recovering from a bout out of hard work takes a while. If you're hungry, I have an empty pot you can use to cook your food. I've cooked something. Wait, is that... That looks just like my signature perfect dish. Spicy meat and seafood fry. But how did you... Well, I suppose that is not important. Can you trouble... Can I trouble you to share the recipe? Huh? Ah, of course. I rule bass. How could I have forgotten? Well done. Please, allow me to uh, reward your culinary efforts with this warm doublet. Oh. With that, you'll be able to resist the bite of colder environments. As for me, I know a great spicy meat and seafood fry recipe, so I can do without that warm doublet. That's gonna help us a lot heading to that, uh, shrine. And I'm glad I was able to get him to give me that before nightfall. Do I still have it? Yes, I do. we got that. If you tried going here first without it, the cold would kill you. Slowly but surely, it would kill you. It would definitely hurt you very badly if you go in the water. And this is a first for the Zelda games that uh, your weapons can have durability, meaning if you can, you can break your weapons if you use them too much. Unless they have high durability. Fudge, I ran into a Bokoblin camp. Should really look where I'm going. And thank you for the arrow. And now we better run. can leave me alone. Just to be sure. Heads up below. Perfect. Though you should probably look out for the boulders, they roll at you. I think the worst color variant of them that are the most deadly is white. Blue is okay, 
Red is very common, and they're pretty weak. But if you do the DLC, gold is the worst. And just to avoid any boulders that are going to go rolling down at me, I'm going to try climbing up here. get up here. Where's the shrine? I went past it. It's over there. But I think I can get another core rock from here. to the shrine. Those book couplings have a campfire. If you're feeling really daring, you can steal their cooked meat if you want to. I think I'm gonna. Grab the meat and run. Especially if you're running against Dalfos. Missed me, geniuses. Mmm, seared steak. Nice. Chica Slate confirmed. Access granted. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am the monk of this place, and he sets you with this trial. the first of our rooms for the Sheikah Slate we can use, Cryosis. Using ice cubes. Simple enough, yes? Uh-oh. 
Destroy those or run. If it's the smaller ones, no problem. If it's the bigger ones, get the heck away from them. Okay, and I think there are two that I want to activate. One is right here for an item. And another for right here. And that's the end of the trial. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Cap Namu, the creator of this trial. I am a humble monk blessed with the sight of Gaia's Hire, dedicated to helping you defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I will allow me to bestow you this gift. Please accept the spirit orb. May the goddess smile upon you. And for most of the uh, other trials that I'm going to be activating, just to save time, I'm going to skip them. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. How did you know? <laughs> Clairvoyance. Oh, or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. <laughs> But perhaps that is not true for anyone. Oh. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of the shrine hmm. is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. Oh. It has been quite some time since I've seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhibited, hid these lands, inhabited these lands. That great power of theirs, wisdom, saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. <laughs> Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you my paraclider. So I need more now. I said treasure, but I never said there would be only one treasure. Whether it's one treasure or four, what's the difference for a young go-getter like yourself? 
Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding the shrines. Hmm. It'll, it's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point to see here. Yeah, got it. I know what I'm doing. Hmm. See those blue icons? It means that you did them. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. And because we got our first rune, there is a second one that I can activate immediately. The Amiibo. And just to test one out right now. Mm hmm. These are mostly items I got from the uh, Zelda amiibo, the Smash Bros. version. Traveler's bow with good du durability. Awesome. Now, on to the next one. I think it was blue next. Just to save time. Link just became part of the live stream. <laughs> Seriously, how'd you get here before I did? I know how. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone new to this game. Not the Stealthos again. They're pretty bad, too. Especially the ones carrying spears. Okay, welcome to shrine number two. And this one's a test of magnetism. Magnesis. down the wrong tube there. <coughs> this one can work on anything that's metal.
<laughs> it also makes this thing a good weapon against these things. Got plenty of travelers, bow. Now then, that wasn't so bad. I almost forgotten about these. You don't want to get too close to those guardians. They'll reactivate and try to shoot at you. My opinion about them? They're pretty much like, uh... They're pretty similar to the Daleks from Doctor Who. Only they don't go around yelling, exterminate, exterminate. Okay, bomb trial. There are two types of bombs you can use. The round one, or a cube version. This one can be done with either.
Whoops. And those really hurt. that in a moment. Leaves us with one more to go after this. one more to go and that's green oops get out of that guardian sight now one is up there in the cliffs which means I probably got to go back to where the uh, snow area begins start climbing. I gotta get higher up. There's her last shrine. <laughs> Stop. 
stasis trial. Freeze your enemies and objects in time for a very brief moment. I think you can freeze your enemies. I'm very sure about objects, but not sure about enemies. Now you're wondering what that empty rune there is for between the ice and the amiibo? Don't worry about that, we'll get that taken care of later. Awesome, a traveler's shield. You can pick up that sledgehammer if you want. But my inventory's full, so... For... Swords, so I can't really take that. That's the last of them. For the first, first four shrines you can do. With this, you have acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Oh, oh extraordinary. Hmm. That means it is finally time. Link, it is time for you, to, for me to tell you everything. But first, hmm. imagine an X on your map with the four shrines. Find out where those lines interact. I shall wait you there. Do you understand? Where the two lines connecting would cross, there I will be. Yep. We just gotta meet him at the Temple of Time. And I best not do anything stupid that'll cause me to die. That's too high. <sighs> I can jump from there. Take oh, about half damage, but good enough. For the other Koroks, I'm gonna take some time to myself to look for them later. <laughs> anyway, whenever we collect four of those spirit orbs and go to one of these statues of Hylia, we can either get our heart containers 
increased by one or our stamina increased by one. For the start, I want it to be stamina. Yeah, we're on our way. There's a Korok on the top of that point there. And I just accidentally almost killed myself. Look where you're stepping, idiot. That's better. Now then. Done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule, a kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. 
We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The Princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the Champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Don't you know it's unwise to underestimate Ganondorf? He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives. Those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely wounded and elapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link. You are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then, you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the Dueling Peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Go on, here's the paraglider as I promised. Yeah, now we can glide as much as we like. Assuming we have enough stamina for it. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. Hmm. I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. And we will continue onward for where he wanted us to go next time in Let's Replay Breath of the Wild. 
I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you want, ring the bell to be notified when our next video comes out. We do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and occasionally Saturday and Sundays. Till the next video, this is Sora Darkchild, signing off. Have a good night, folks. And I got some work to do with a certain amiibo that I have. <laughs>